Alright guys, so in this video we're going to transfer all the parts from this guy here. This is the HP FPV uh, FF65. I did a review video on this one a while back. And I'm going to move it over to this little frame here. Um, this and this canopy. This is going to be lighter. Um, this frame has got the same cutout style here as the frame here that the FF65 was on. So, But it's going to be a lot lighter because it's a unibody here and I think it's like uh, three millimeters thick. Pretty strong still. Um, this one you can't probably find anywhere. I will try and find something similar. This is like a prototype of something that I got from a while back. I don't even remember where it came from but this has been sitting around and this is going to be way later than this whole monstrosity here but I will put a, I'll link something similar down in the description if you want to transfer your parts over to a more traditional toothpick style frame and get the weight down. So let me just show you what the what the differences are here before and then we'll see what it is after. So just this is the canopy and the frame here by itself and this is about 10.6 grams. And then this is the drone, 61 grams. So we'll see after I take all the parts off of here and um, move it over, we'll see how much it weighs. I'm pretty sure we're going to get at least 10, 15 grams off of here. This thing is just so heavy. And uh, we'll see what the difference of the weight is. It's about 10 something, and that, but this frame here probably weighs closer to 20 something. Anyway, let's go ahead and swap the parts over and we'll take a look at it. Alright so here's all the parts moved over to the new frame and uh, didn't have to actually do any soldering whatsoever. Uh, you can see here that these are all the extra parts here of the frame and all the extra screws and everything. This is all extra weight here that didn't get transferred over. So let's see how much it weighs now. I'm gonna put the props on after I I'm going to reflash the ECs with RPM filter firmware, so that's going to, I'm going to put the props on later, but this is without the props, 46 grams, and stick on the same props as before. And we're coming at 49, about 50 grams, so it was 63 grams before, so we lost about 13 grams of extra weight. So I'm going to go ahead and throw um, RPM filter firmware on the ECs and update the Beta flight firmware, um, and we'll go see how it flies. If you want to see how to uh, flash your ECUs and do the RPM filter setup, I have a couple videos I'll link down in the description, and you can follow those procedures. I just use a standard procedure in all my micro drones for RPM filter, and that tends to make everything fly a lot better. So, uh, go ahead and do all that, throw the props on, and we'll go take it for a fly. Still getting those uh, oscillations on hard turns. Needs a little bit more tuning. No, it's a little bit better, but not. Remarkably, you can see they want to hit the brakes real hard there, like that. Maybe a little less filtering, perhaps. Yeah, just on uh, what was it, Beta Flight 411 and RPM filter. Yeah, it might be that the these ECs aren't the greatest. But it does feel a lot lighter than before. Way, way more responsive. And these lighting conditions are not so great. It's hard to see what I'm running into here. But I still would recommend going this route on this particular 
model. I, I, I guess if you can find it for like a hundred, about a hundred dollars, that alone for the parts, and then you can source your own custom frame. I think uh, it'll be more enjoyable experience, but then again, uh, with all that work, you may as well just source your own parts and just build one outright, but it might cost you more money, probably about, I don't know, 50% more, $150, if you source everything on its own. Yeah, it's got way more power to get up and do those power loops. Try another one. Just getting those flutters on hard turns. I might switch to the three-bladed HQ 65 millimeter T-prop instead. I'm sure this will handle it no problem on 3S. fast. And pretty good battery life or flight time. Still running the same 3S450. Yeah. I would say pretty aggressive flying like this. Four and a half minutes. Totally doable. If you just cruise you around, you get five minutes easy. Got a lot of shuddering on those hard turns. A lot of water over there. Still been raining a ton. It's gonna rain again later today. 10.6 volts. Five minutes. 10.7 volts. Yeah, so very efficient. I'll call it here. Yeah, I think if you are easy on the throttle, you can get probably six or seven minutes on this uh, setup. But it's a little bit better. I definitely like the fact that it's more responsive because it's a lot lighter than before. So, still would recommend doing all the switches if you happen to get this.